Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and today I am um, recording three videos, so yes, you will see me looking all the same. So I am going to go through what I warmed um, from the 16th of December until today, the 31st of December. I worked from home this week, um, so Oregon uh, was doused in snow which is a little unusual at this time of year. Usually we don't get it until about February and we're still getting it. So you'll see the sun kind of coming in and out and it's really bright outside. I do have the, the curtains kind of pulled, but um, anyway, you'll see it get kind of bright. Mike's in here, Bella's out there. They're being obnoxious. So I'm just gonna warn you, but let's get started. I did finish Ash's advent calendar so I had the Harry Potter set. So let's go through these first. So day 17. Now, since I worked from home this last week, I went through an obscene quantity of wax. I changed like two to three times a day. If I stopped smelling it, I changed the wax. So yeah. Okay, first one, Christmas in the Burrow, which is beaches, marshmallow, fireside, mermaid sequins, cocoa butter, and cashmere. So this was very strong and very perfumey. You gonna, you gonna be a good girl, my my? You, do I smell that? Yeah, she's not keen on that. Ash's um, advent was very floral, perfumey, that kind of thing. Um, I did warm them. I warmed them in here because I wanted to get a sense of what Ash's was all about. I do have an order from her. Excuse me, I did order um, after winning this advent because I wanted to try some of her bakeries. Casey swears by her bakeries, loves her bakery scents. When I saw that the advent was basically fresh floral, I wanted to try Ash's bakery site. So I will be getting into that. Um, as you know, I am part of a collab with Drew and like 12 other people. So Ash's, um, I'll be warming maybe sometime during this, this collab, you'll see. So this one, very perfumey, beautiful scent, but very perfumey. Week 18 brought tooth flossing string mints. So I think the names were depending upon if you got the Christmas con cottage or whatever that set was or the Harry Potter. Um, this is Jack Frost Vanilla Sparkle Wild Madagascar Vanilla. And this, um, whatever the holiday sparkle is, and the Jack Frost really, I've had Jack Frost from K's and I think it has some kind of a mint in it. It was really nice. So this is kind of a minty scent and I did really enjoy that one. Okay, day 19 brought Vanilla Bean Noel, Clean Cotton, and Celebrate Christmas. So I think Celebrate Christmas must be some kind of a, what's the word? Uh, spicy scent. Because I smell um, a definite spice in this. Mike's laying down, so hopefully she'll be good. This was beautiful. I really, really enjoyed this. I don't really get that clean cotton scent, which is really good for me. Um, the Vanilla Bean Nomel mixed with that Celebrate Christmas made for a really, really nice scent. I really enjoyed that one. All right. Uh-oh. Day 20's in there somewhere, and this is how bad it looks. So... When I dig up day 20, we'll talk about it. Okay, day 21. Oh, please don't tell me that one's in there too. Day 21 is in there too. All right, day 22. Hermione's Christmas Village, which is I smell snow, berry chamomile, and cotton candy. Um, this is perfumey. This is laundry. Yeah. So perfumey and laundry, I'd say. Maybe that's the I smell snow. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, next one, the 23rd. Sweater weather, blackberry fizz, and cashmere clouds. 
it's a soft, um, I, I, I'm assuming maybe that's the cashmere clouds because it's a soft, uh, elegant maybe scent. I don't know if that's the word, but it's, it, yeah, it reminds you of wearing like a cashmere sweater. That's kind of that, that feel that this scent gives me. And I thought it was, it was really, really good. Um, but I have found that I like sweater weather. So it could be that beautiful mix of those three, just make this really feel good scent. And I really enjoyed that one. All right. Day 24. Harry, I think it's Christmas Eve which is Screamin' Pineapple in Winter Wonderland. I can smell the pineapple. I, I honestly don't remember this scent, but it smells good. I So if I didn't remember a scent, it's probably because it wasn't very strong. So that one might not have been strong enough for me to remember. All right, day 25, Christmas Day. Fleur's Christmas Tree which is Christmas tree farm, amethyst, and Christmas cheer. I wrote floral, but maybe some grapefruit in it. Oh, there's the sun again. It is definitely floral, absolutely floral. But I remember melting this, and it almost did seem to have some kind of an after, after scent of almost like a grapefruit, I thought. Um, but I did think it was pretty, but it was a definite floral. Okay, day 26, sugared shortbread, lemon drop cookies, spun sugar, and vanilla bean. And I honestly, I don't remember this one, but when I stick my nose in it, I smell sugar shortbread. I wonder if this wasn't strong or if I had something going in the main room that um, might have overpowered it. Because that's really pretty. I like that. Um... I think that's a, a very beautiful bakery scent. All right, so day 27. Don't shoot me, don't hate me, don't don't come after me. I couldn't, I just, I couldn't. So leather and lace, naughty but nice, and lil, linen breeze. I just, I, I couldn't. I cannot stand leather scents. So I couldn't. I couldn't melt that one. I'm sorry. It It's a beautiful leather scent, but I, I just couldn't melt that one. So. Ah, oh, another one. Day 28 is in the box. Day 29, Ice Mice, which is elf. <laughs> I think this is funny. Elf Sweat, Elf Sweat, Summer Scoop, and Fruity Marshmallow. So I'm not a huge Summer Scoop person because I, I don't know. I just don't like the strawberry. But this is floral. Whatever the other scents are to me, it's it's floral. So seriously, day thirty. I did melt some of these a little early because I wanted to be able to give you my thoughts on the advent. Um, honey, honey dukes, which is blueberry. Or blue cotton candy, cotton candy, blue raspberry, and cranberry joy. It's it's blueberry with that hint of cotton candy. Gosh, that sun. It's it was a really pretty scent, but it was uh, fairly light for me. And then what I have going today, cauldron cakes, which is birthday cake. Salt water taffy and boardwalk taffy. And this is, uh, how would I describe it? A bit linen-y, a linen -y floral mixed with the cotton candy. So it's good. Um, so overall, my thoughts on Ashes is I think she's got beautiful blends. I think they, for the most part, have really good throw. It just happens as with some, you know, when you get advents or you get mystery boxes or you get those kinds of things, you're going to get scents that maybe aren't your cup of tea. And that's what happened. It's no big deal. So let's go ahead and get started here. 
I have a box down below that I'm going to be putting my empties in. There's really going to be no rhyme or reason to my picking through this because it is seriously that full. Um, it's a good thing that I only did a, a you know, 15 day melt instead of a whole box because yeah, I, I got through some wax. First one, Christmas Macchiato from Teddy Bees. This one is fresh pine, buttercream, vanilla waffle cone, espresso, and vanilla ice cream. This was, I think, a beautiful, perfect blend of mixing the pine tree with the, um, it's espresso in this one. I noticed espresso tends to be a little stronger for me than like a latte scent or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I thought this was beautiful. I think it was the perfect amount of strength when it came to the pine. Um, I didn't notice that it was necessarily headache inducing for me. I, and it could be that the buttercream and the vanilla in it kind of help, um, tame down that, but I love a good coffee scent. I have coffee going out in the main room right now. This was, this was really good. It, I, I know those, this, so this is my, really my first year melting wax other than Bath and Body Works candles, which I, I do do those. I just don't talk about them because they're just in a, in a crock because I don't want to burn them because um, of mica. So uh, I may get this one again. I don't know because of the pine and the headaches that I seem to get this year because of the different scents that I was trying. Um, I may or may not get this one again. So, but I thought it was really, really good. So this one, crushed candy canes and Christmas trees and cream. Oh my gosh, guys. You know my absolute love of peppermint, mint, buttermint, wintergreen, spearmint, mint. I just, I love mint. This was so good. So it's fresh pine boughs, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and rich vanilla butter cream layered with crushed candy canes. Mmm. It was so good. It was seriously the per I am, I'm going to keep saying that the perfect blend of the peppermint with the pine. I didn't really smell the pine. It was more like kind of a, a distant. Oh, oh, okay. I smell pine. To me, it was just a beautiful, creamy candy cane scent. This is a definite repurchase next year. Loved it. Let's see if I can somehow. Oh, here's okay. Here's an ashes. I don't know what day. Frosted snowdrops, moonflower, and vanilla clouds. Oh, laundry. That's a laundry. It's a. It's actually a really pretty laundry. That is a pretty laundry. But that's that is a laundry. Since I did so <clears throat> so much teddy bees, maybe I could try and dig the teddy bees out. All right. Oh, this one. Oh my gosh. Now I know why you guys love this scent so much. Strawberry trees and cream. Look how messy they get, but I don't care because you know, all that goodness in there makes it so I can still smell it. Mm. Okay. So this is more heavy in the trees and cream than the other scents that are mixed with trees and cream. And then you get that subtle, to me, it's a subtleness of the strawberry. This was so good. This is a definite tree scent though. It's tree with a hint of strawberry. So very, very good. A definite repurchase next year. I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, I thought I did more than that. All right, here's another ashes, spun sugar and quills, lavender rocks, peach rings, and snow kissed sugar. I can smell the peach rings and that's pretty much it. So whatever the peach rings and whatever it was, um, I don't remember it. So it must've been a light scent. So, okay. Another ashes, Luna's mistletoe, winterberry wonder, blue spruce, 
and Forest Mist. That one smells like a laundry floral to me as well. It might be the lavender, or Forest Mist. No, I swore I smelled lavender in there. I don't know. Um, it's pretty, just, you know, not for me. I thought I got through more Teddy Bees than that. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's another Boozy Butterbeer from Ashes. Sweet bourbon cream, whipped cream, tis the season. Whatever the sweet bourbon cream is, it is okay. Okay, this one, Pink Peppermint Sugar Cookies. Come. Circus Cookies from Teddy Bees. So this is perfuming. I think that's the pink sugar in it. But this was really... I wish, though, that it had more peppermint than the pink sugar. But I thought it was really nice. I do wish it had more peppermint, though. All right, let's see if we can get this finished before they go ballistic again. So during the month, I also got through a lot of Zape because I had ordered the Zape... Um, what was it? A holiday? Watch out, Micah. A holiday thing. So I did melt a lot of Zape. This one is Little Red Riding Hood, which is oatmeal cookies, sugar cookies, butter cookies, and sugar and spice. And this one was really a nice, yummy blend of that oatmeal cookie with the spices. It was in a cupcake. Yeah, kind of a cupcake form. It was really cool. This was a, a wonderful bakery because I liked that mix of the oatmeal cookie mixed with that those spices and stuff. It was delicious. Not sure it's one I would order again. It was a little heavy on the spices, but I still liked it. Okay, sleigh ride. Um, I did melt some of these also in clams. So when I get to those, I'm just going to toss them in the box. So sleigh ride, marshmallows, peppermint, and pine trees. This was beautiful. So you can definitely smell the vanilla-ness of the marshmallow mix mixed with that the uh, peppermint. And then you get that after of pine. It's different than the other peppermint pine that I had. This was just, it was so lovely. I really, really liked this. It would be a definite repurchase next year. I melted several of these. So they're in here somewhere. So I'll just chuck them in the bin when I come across it. Like here's a clamshell of it. Baby, it's cold outside. Fresh snow and peppermint. So the thing with the fresh snow and the peppermint is it's, uh, I think it's supposed to be fresh, but it, it has a definite tree note in it. Cause I was thinking more along, you know, of like fresh fallen snow, you know, that kind of scent, but it, this was more tree over. Hi, Mike. Did you get them? Um, more tree over peppermint for sure. It's funny because when I was going through, you know, the, my melting, I was like, wow, I, I ordered a lot of peppermint and tree scents. But this one's good. It's probably not one that I'll order again just because it was a little too tree. So, uh, so I have all these clamshells because when I ordered from Zay, uh, I had... I ordered kind of after the main launch, but that was because I really wanted to try them. And so I ended up getting a lot of clam shells of the, the Zape scents. So baby, it's cold outside. Uh, all right, candy canes. This was so good, guys. Beautiful, beautiful candy canes. It's like a candy cane and vanilla. It's delicious. It's yummy. To me, it was not um, sinus clearing. To, with that, I need stronger peppermint and probably a bit of eucalyptus. But this was beautiful. I loved it. Santa Baby. She doesn't put the scent notes on some of these. So, I, okay, I don't know what Santa Baby is. But it smells really good. And I bet you I liked it. Considering there's only six, I probably mixed this. My guess is I probably mix it with candy cane. So, Franken cake. I know Drew loves this one. I melted this one in here. Banana nut bread, pumpkin strudel, or streusel, and then caramel drizzle. This was really good. 
this was like a deep, uh, savory bread scent. It was so good, guys. I don't know that I would want this in a body care. Uh, might be a little bit too much banana, but it was so good. I would definitely purchase this one again. And then the one that I had to get, and the real reason I ordered from Zape was because of Carson and Charity Red Cup season. So Red Cup season is definitely a peppermint mocha. You definitely get that chocolate note in this one. I wish it had a touch more peppermint. So for me, I would probably, I did just melt the chew through the house. I would probably enhance it more with a bit more peppermint, maybe with the candy cane scent as well. But it was so good. But it is chocolatey. So if you don't like chocolate notes in, in wax, it may or may not be for you. Um, but it was really good. And now I know why Charity and, and Carson like it. All right. This big bad guy. I got this on a D stash. This was a chunk loaf in Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. And I chopped it up and I've just been saving it. This was so good. Now I know why Casey loves this one so much. Eggnog, cookies, donut holes, and marshmallow smoothie. This was a really pretty scent. It was heavy on the eggnog. Tim wasn't so sure about it, but I really, really enjoyed it. So I will definitely order that one again. Okay, so I went, I melted through. Um, I thought I had a couple, but okay. I thought I got through a couple of the, my bedroom scents. This one's Mr. Sandman from Vintage Chic. So this is rosemary, mint, eucalyptus, spearmint, and peppermint. I have many of these. I think I bought four or five at a time. This was a, I think this was a snowflake. And this is so good because you get that. I love rosemary mint mixed with the eucalyptus and the other mints. It was so good. Definite repurchase. Definite, definite, definite bedroom scent. It is amazing. Now I know why it's called Mr. Sandman. It was awesome so if you've never gotten this one if you've never tried rosemary mint you need to it's so good i love rosemary mint but this combo i am glad i have extra especially going on my no buy all right i swore i got through more bedroom ones oh maybe not all right so christmas wake up call from brittas i did save a couple brittas that i had Remember, she was my vendor of the month a few months ago. Um, Brita's does not throw for me, uh, except for her coffee scents. So I have stopped ordering from Brita's at this time. Uh, doesn't mean that I'm not going to order from her again. I have a bag sitting right there, and that is Benny's Coffee. Or Benny's, I don't know. Anyway, it is seriously one of the absolute best coffees I have ever smelled. And it throws like a beast. This, I will continue purchasing. But since I have so much wax... Um, I have kind of stopped ordering from certain people. Actually, I've pretty much stopped ordering. Um, just, you know, just here and there, basically. But this one, Christmas Wake Up Call, was so delicious. It's espresso, chocolate chip, cookie dough, vanilla bean, marshmallow. And this one, well, one, it was poured in August, so it had perfect amount of cure time. I did, I melted this Christmas morning. And it, you seriously could smell like the chocolate chip cookie dough. It was so good. And it's like you took the chocolate chip cookie dough, you dipped it into your cup of coffee and put some marshmallow whip on it. It was so good. It was delicious. It didn't, it wasn't a beast of a thrower, but it was delicious when I could smell it. I loved it. I thought I did, I thought I did a lot, huh? Um, I thought I had chew... Dang, I thought I had two. But anyway, okay. Next one. This was a sample I got from Lurid. This is Snug by the Fire, which is marshmallow fireside, cinnamon, and clove and vanilla. This was okay. I'm not a big marshmallow fireside person. It's too smoky. But it was okay. Um, I enjoyed it. I melted it in the bathroom and I thought it smelled lovely. This one was odd. Earl Grey and Apple from K's. It was a, a sample. It seriously smelled like tea. It was bizarre. 
yeah, it seriously smells like Earl Grey tea. It's crazy. So that one was good. I finished a Georgia peach from L3. Um, this di actually didn't throw very well. And this was poured in April. So Tim couldn't really smell it. But this, it was okay. I, I mean, I really liked it. I just wish it was stronger. Uh, but, oh, this one was so good. I, I wish I could get this one again. Hayden Rowe. It was one of those little samples. This was banana cream pie, banana pudding, and banana boat sunscreen. Oh, it was so good, guys. Mmm. It was banana-y and you almost got the sense that you were putting on like a sunscreen, you know, the banana boat sunscreen. Oh, it was so good. It just, I, I try, I'm trying to melt through some of my samples. I should just have a day of nothing but samples, but, um, this was so, so good that I would order this one again. L3 Christmas cookie therapy. So this one is eggnog cookie therapy and a hint of gingerbread. So it says a hint of gingerbread, but this actually had a lot of gingerbread. This was, <clears throat> to me, gingerbread heavy. I don't smell the cookie therapy. I smell gingerbread and eggnog. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite. It was poured in May, so it had lots of time to cure, which I really appreciate that they were pouring some of these winter scents um, far enough in advance that it could cure. That was the one thing that I actually struggled with a little bit. This is my first year. The snow's falling off the roof and hitting things. That's why they're barking. Anyway, um, if I'm ordering Christmas scents now, they're not going to have enough time to cure. And so I don't think I'm going to get as good a throw. So I liked how they were, some of these were poured well in advance to give it really good cure time. Um, I got through a couple scent circles. So I put Welcome Home in my bathroom. This is, or in my bathroom. This is Scentsy. <clears throat> I put this, um, I have Gorilla Tape, and I tape it to the top of the lid of my garbage can. So I have that. And this one, okay, so I got this one because of Carrie. So Evergreen and Grapefruit. Carrie loves this scent, and it is so good, but insanely strong in my car. So I had this one in my car because I wanted to have a bit of tree. Nope, nope. Pulled it out after two days. It's still insanely strong sitting in here. Oh, another one. Oh, another sleigh ride. That was so good, guys. Okay. Next, I did a Celtic Moon Spice. Um, as you know, one of Destination Wax's favorite, or one of my favorite scents from her is the um, Celtic coffee celtic moon spice coffee or something like that this is just the celtic moon spice which is cinnamon clove and nutmeg it was really good strong 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 cinnamon though or uh spices though all right so the boo patch from sassy wax melts now one thing i have ordered some some new warmers that i have around the house my scentsy warmers do not do sassy wax melts justice so i did order some hot plate warmers for, um candlewarmers.com i used a it was like a 40 percent off coupon or something so i got three hot plate warmers um so i do have those here now they melt her beeswax so much better than the Scentsy Warmers. They just don't get hot enough to give this a good enough throw. So if you're having a hard time getting a throw with Sassy Wax Melts, I highly recommend putting it in tea lights or a really hot warmer. So that's my, my PSA of the day. Anyway, so the Boo Patch, Sweet Pumpkin Puree, puree Coconut and Maple Sugar. So I wasn't sure about this one because maple, I don't, I'm not keen on maple. It's a bit, um... Not necessarily a bit sweet, but I just, I'm not keen on it. And, but this one was really good because the pumpkin puree with the coconut and everything, it, oh, it's just a beautiful, sweet bakery. It's so good. I love this. This is a definite repurchase. I love Sassy Wax. She is on holiday right now. So if you try to go buy from her, just know that she is on holiday. Um, oh, I did two of these. I had two samples of pumpkin crunch cake. So they were just little, they're not necessarily samples. You could buy them. They're like one or two ounce shots. So this one is beautiful in the bag. 
Oh, it's so good. But I could not smell it in my in the open area. I just, I couldn't. Um, I was so disappointed because the bags smell so good. Um, so I'm not sure that I would repurchase this one purely because I just couldn't get a good throw out of it. So I was a little disappointed in that. This one was a sample. This was Breakfast in Paris, which was strawberry baguette. Um, sorry, French baguette, strawberry jam, and pink sugar. So this one, it is a really nice blend of that strawberry jam with a hint of the French baguette, because sometimes the French baguette can be a bit overwhelming for me. But this was lovely. I really enjoy Breakfast in Paris. We'll definitely get that one again. Another sample I got through was a Salty Sea Air Cotton Candy Pink Sugar from L3. Melted this in the bedroom or in the bathroom. It is a cotton kind of scent. So uh, one day I was trying to enhance some scents out in my, oh, actually it was when I did the um, Sassy Wax. So I threw in a touch of home-baked bread. I had a couple little things of that and a couple things of gingerbread boy. These are from Nene's Kitchen Melts. Um, when I first got hers, they didn't seem very strong. They've just been sitting curing and stuff. So these actually added a really nice complexity to those other scents that I was having a hard time smelling. So um, I melted through a few Simos. So this one, oh, this one's so good. So these are her little jars. They're little jars. Um, Sorry, it comes with six. I cut them in half, so it's 12 melts. This one was brown sugar apple bread. Two things. This is so good. Oh my gosh. The brown sugar with the apple bread was so good, but it lasted like maybe three, four hours. That was a disappointment to me because I was really hoping to get this scent lasting all day and it didn't. And it might be that I'm becoming nose blind because I I worked, you know, every day from home. I'm used to coming and going. But when I when I first put this in and it started melting, oh, it was it was so good, guys. This is a definite repurchase for me. I just wish it lasted longer is the only thing. But if you're looking for something that's really, I mean, hits you strong, beautiful, wonderful scent, this was amazing. Definite on my list. Then I did some mango sorbet. So I, I'm trying to melt through my Simos. Um, obviously we're going into this challenge or this collab. So Simo's gonna have to go on hold, but I was trying to get through some of my Simo's because they've been sitting in there for a while. This one was mango sorbet. Beautiful, beautiful mango scent. I was wanting a little something fruity, a little something fresh. It was not strong. That's the one thing with Simo is you get, sometimes you get strong, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get, well, actually, no, you just plain don't get longevity with Simo. But this was so pretty. I really enjoyed that. And then, so these are, if you look on Simo's thing, she has this logo. So these were little, they, seriously, they, to me, they look like honey pots. So this was two, two of those different honey pots in sweet jelly zucchini bread. Now, normally zucchini bread throws like a beast for me. And these were really good zucchini bread. She has very, very good zucchini bread. Once again, it didn't last. So it, it threw really well. You get a, a kind of a sweet jelly, but you don't get like a raspberry or a grape or a strawberry. It's just a, a jelly with a really, really nice zucchini bread. It was lovely. I loved it. Fantastic. Um, I melted through a lot of K's, so we're going to do that last, okay? Um, let's see. Snow, snow covered orchard. Um, that went in the bathroom. It's, it smells like laundry to me, laundry or perfume. Uh, sassy girl aroma. Oh, this was so good. Peppermint meringue. Oh, it's so good. I need some of this. I need to see if she's going to pour this. Actually, I have so much peppermint right now 
that even when I do see an order coming out, I'm not even ordering peppermint. I've got way too much. But this is so good. It's a really, really strong peppermint. And that meringue just adds a sweetness to it too. Oh, it's so good, guys. This was heaven. Heaven, 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 heaven. Sassy Girl Aroma. I melted Shocker. Um, the, uh, the person who's been vitally rude to us is blocked from my channel currently, but I melted through four scentsies because I was trying to get through more Christmas scents and then trying to get through some things like these scent cups because I ordered a ton of scent cups in the beginning from Kate. So I'm trying to get through certain things. Um, but we have someone who's been attacking us who are Scentsy reps who melt vendor wax. She is currently blocked. If you ever see someone commenting on our videos who is vile, please just, just ignore her. She'll get blocked, okay? But I did four. So first one. All right. So Bring Back My Bar was in July. I think it was July. I think it's July and January. So, cause my January, see this box right down there. So that's, that's bring back my bar for January. This was from July. Look how it clouded up. This is black, wild black cherry. It took me that long to get through this. I am not a cherry lover. Um, it's okay. I like cherry. That's more cherry than almond. So there's a couple new cherry scents that are, are quite almond. Just like I love almond croissant, but it's not necessarily almond. You get that bakery note in there. This one was okay. It was just so strong in the cherry. And it reminded me way too much of cherry cough syrup. Um, that was the, the flavor that we had growing up was cherry cough syrup. So I just, I didn't like it, but I got through it. I got through it. This one I melted Christmas Day after, no, the 19th. The 19th was when we did Christmas with the kids. Um, all our kids are grown, and so they all have other lives. Well, my daughters have other lives. Um, Tim's son um, lives with his mom still, um, which I think, honestly, he's 21, but he's a great kid, and I'm glad that he's there. Um to help with the house and that kind of stuff. Cause you know, we both live in the country. So I think it's great that he's still there helping with the house. But anyway, my kids are in Seattle and down in Corvallis at school. So Lexi in Seattle, my daughter, Lexi, her absolute favorite holiday scent is tree. So I warmed this, this was season of magic. And there was a, a matching warmer, um, a holiday warmer. So I put this one in with one other scent. I don't remember. My head hurt so bad this day. This is so pretty. It is such a good, good tree scent, but my headache was severe. Um, this is when I started to realize that I can't do tree scents is between this and the other tree scents that I was trying to warm. I just, I, I can't do tree scents. Um, anyway, next one, Bright Cider Life. This one was so good. I thought it would be too heavy in um, like the spices, but it was delicious. What I really want to try though is like taking this and mixing it with maybe a peeling apple or Johnny Appleseed or even Jack's Obsession, something apple-y to make an apple cider scent because this is not quite this is like a cider but this isn't an apple cider so i want like an apple cider scent i love apple cider so even if i took like um apple butter mixed it with this maybe i might get that apple cider donuty type feel mm. But this is so good. If you haven't tried Bright Cider Life, you really need to. It's delicious. And then this is a little bit of a Scentsy Heartbreak. So when I first melted this, I couldn't smell it. And I thought, why does Lisa Roberry love this scent so much? Dumbo. 
then I warmed it at work. It is so good and it lasts for like two, three days. It is a beautiful fruit scent. It is so awesome. It is so delicious and it's not in my club. It is so good though, guys. If Dumbo comes back, I'm going to be putting it in my club. In smaller areas, it's really good unless I load up my warmers with more cubes. But the problem I have with doing that is Sensi is $6 for one of these. And if I have to use two of these, that's 12 bucks. And my vendor wax and some of it, it's like half that cost in order to get the same throw. So, you know, take it for what it is. So even Drew kind of did a, a thing about that once. So yesterday, <clears throat> trying to get through some of my K's scents, I threw this mix in. So all I have left are these because I wanted to talk about what I did. Oh, this one. Okay, so this set was so good. Orange chiffon cake with orange oh, almond man. scone. I don't, I'm not keen on orange almond oh. scone, but this orange chiffon cake, oh my goodness, guys. It is so good. It is, this reminds me of oh. cutie pie cupcake from Scentsy. If I wasn't in my sweats, I'd go grab one. But I warmed it in here. And every time you would come through this, you just had this sweet, beautiful orange scent. Oh, it was so good. So good. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I will definitely get things with orange chiffon cake. Orange almonds go not so much. Orange chiffon, chiffon cake, definitely. Um, oh, Oh, here we go. Okay, so, no, no, I grabbed the wrong one. What I did yesterday, and then I dropped them. Oh my gosh. So what I did yesterday is I mixed these four. Ze or fresh zesty lemon, Meyer lemon, rosemary lemon with French bread. So I did this as just a lemon, lemon. So I had orange in here. I had lemon out there. So zesty, this is the zesty, fresh zested lemon. It's like you smell the lemon rind, okay? You smell a green note in this one. Meyer lemon. So Meyer lemon, you get more of that sweet lemon. Um, maybe a bit tart to it. This is not like a rose girl lemonade. Rose Girl Lemonade almost gives me an effervescent scent to it, but this one, is so good. All right, then I mixed Rosemary Lemon because I wanted a bit of a, a, something a little bit, a touch more. So that's why these last two. So Rosemary Lemon, you get that, that little bit of lemon and then Rosemary, like you're walking through your garden and you run, run your hand up a Rosemary plant. I like doing that to rosemary and, and uh, lavender. This is so good. I would definitely get just a case cut of rosemary lemon. It is so good, guys. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. And then I threw in a bit of French bread because I've noticed some fresh French breads are a bit too doughy, yeasty for me, but I wanted to add maybe a touch of bakery to get the lemon to last longer. It didn't. It, it was a half a day melt and that's okay. But this was so good. The mix of the four together was so, so good. Today, so um, this morning, it's in the afternoon now. So this morning, I wanted a nice hit of coffee. So I mixed these, Snickers coffee. So Snickers coffee is sweet, caramely coffee. It's delicious. I love a good Snickers coffee. So all of these I think were purchased in April. That's why I'm trying to get through them is because they're older. Oh, let's not do that one. Tristan's toffee coffee so this one is Kay's grandson's scent I think this one has a hazelnut note to it 
So it is a delicious mix of coffee with like a hazelnut toffee in it. And then just straight up espresso. You can never go wrong with a straight up espresso, but for me, I have to mix it with something. So this scent I don't actually care for. It's Sunday brunch. This just smells weird. I'm sorry guys, it smells weird, but I mixed it with the espresso and it did fine, but it's a weird scent. And then the last one I threw in the mix was Cup of Kringle. And this is mint chocolate chip espresso and sugar waffle cone. And this one, I wanted to add just a hint of mint. And I think I did this one in here. Just that hint of mint with that chocolate chip cookie and the waffle cone, delicious. All right, the last things in my box. Can you believe it? I did all that in like two weeks. Working from home. All right, this one, all right. I really like this. I got two samples of the same thing from Vintage Chic. Just toss one in there. Mele Kaliki Maka, which is pine cone and lime. All right, so this ended up being too pine coney, too, too tree for me. So I took from Waxy Taffy, I think it is. I had a lime, a key lime scent in a scoopable. So I mixed that in with this and it did help. It added more lime because I needed more lime in the scent. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful scent, but I wanted more lime. So I added that. And then in the bathroom today, I got some stuff from a D stash or a Susan or something. Anyway, I'm sorry, but I don't remember who it was, but I got up the creek scents and this is autumn walk and I have this in my bathroom right now and to me this what this smells like is you're walking through a forest so maybe it's supposed to be like a leaves scent maybe a leaves mix but it's like you're walking through a forest on damp maybe but dry crusty leaves like you're mid-november that's what this smells like walking through a bunch of trees that have already dropped their leaves and you're walking on them and you get that earthy crunch leaf smell that's what this smells like it's really good i like it i do have it in the bathroom just in case it caused me a headache but at least then when i go to the bathroom i can still experience the scent so i warmed through some of that I'm trying to think what else did I get through that maybe I didn't have in here. Um, if you know of a dupe for Bath and Body Works candle of sweet cranberry pie, I think that's what it's called, between blueberry pie and the sweet cranberry pie, those are my two absolute favorite pie scents. I And it's I don't know where to get it. They didn't do the sweet cranberry pie this year. They did ice cranberry scone, which I heard is different. I didn't get it. Um, I didn't buy any candles this year. Um, but if you know of a vendor that has something that will dupe the sweet cranberry pie, let me know. Because I even looked on Kay's and she doesn't have a tart cranberry. It says tart cranberry. So I thought I'd maybe make, mix like a cranberry chutney with a pie crust note with a, a she, and she doesn't have a brown sugar but you know maybe something like that trying to mimic it but I don't know it's in my kitchen I love love that scent it's like I'll go in my kitchen just so I can smell that candle because it's in a crock um it is so 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 good I tried doing apple garland this year gave me a headache I tried doing winter white woods I really like that scent <laughs> couldn't do it. I almost got through the rest of the video without dog barking. So anyway, that's what I got for you. I melted through a ton, the joy of working from home, but I'll catch you in my next video. I'm going to go strangle my dog. Bye.